First thing we can expect is because we're infarcting the fibroids and taking away their blood supply, they get a bit angry. So there is some discomfort, some significant cramping, very, very intense menstrual cramp type pain for about six to 12 hours after the procedure. For that reason, we admit the patient to the hospital with a patient controlled morphine pump. So they have a button and they can self-dose themselves with narcotic. So that's the first thing, that's called post-embolization. Can be associated with fever, can have an elevated white count. These are doctor things, but basically the patient can be uncomfortable. Uh, then what happens, uh, uh, there's, there's always the possibility when you do an arteriogram, all, this, all the complications related to arteriography. Uh, bleeding uh, at the groin, that's called a hematoma, a bruise, uh, not very common. I tend to use a little clip to close the artery and I've only really seen a couple of groin complications in the years that I've been doing this, uh, but, but it is a theoretical uh, risk. The one that we dread is the development of an infection requiring hysterectomy. That is reported in the literature as way, 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 way less than 1%. Uh, we, have not, we have seen this one time in the Emory University system, one time that we know of, we, okay? Uh, and it was actually a fibroid that had infarcted that became secondarily infected uh, remotely more than a month after the procedure. So we worry about, uh, about infection requiring another procedure or antibiotics or, uh, or a hysterectomy even. And finally, the one that, uh, that we have to talk about and be realistic about is pushing the, the women to menopause. Uh, amenorrhea, loss of your period. That may be temporary for up to a year, I've seen it, uh, or it may be permanent. The older the patient is at presentation, the higher the, the incidence. Uh, the, the study that, uh, that I'll quote is that when you look at uh, uh, the, the fibroid registry talks about about 7% of women who get UFE develop menopausal symptoms. And of that 7%, 86% were more than 45 years old. 